Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to another tutorial of Code Slice Learning Kiwi. Um, so in this tutorial, we're going to be doing something very amazing. Um, so we will be modifying um, the a custom widget in another class. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be modifying uh, a widget, um, a custom widget that we made from another class um so i think this will make more sense when i explain it um so i'm sure um as a as a, a kiwi um uh, as a person who's been working with kiwi you have probably worked with custom widgets <laughs> come on you can't survive without a custom widget uh, some widgets um you know you just want to like stylize them and, and maybe like um just you know make your own type of widgets um, so you definitely will need to learn how to do like custom widgets and things like that. So I'm, I'm assuming here that everyone knows how to, to make custom widgets. Um, so usually the way we make custom widgets, uh, there's actually um, uh, more than one way of, of working with custom widgets. You can do them completely from the, the Kiwi um, language file or you can even do it with the Python file. Um, there's like various ways. But in this case, how we are doing it is that so we have our custom widget, which is defined here. Uh, and as we can see, our our custom widget is a box layout. OK, so OK. And what we have in our custom widget, so as you can see, uh, it's just a simple uh, widget, basically with the background color. Um, yes. And then this widget consists of a button. So it's, it's a button and a label uh, within this. Uh, this um, box layout yes okay so uh, and um, and as you can see there's like a name for the button and a, a label yes. so usually how you put um, you would like how you put this widget into another class you simply just write the name of the custom widget so in this case in this case ours is called custom widget okay Yes, so maybe I can just run the code before I add this so that we can see how it looks like. Okay, as you can see, it's just a blank screen uh, with these words written. Let's start. Okay, so now when we add our custom widget, right? So let's go. So as you can see, our custom widget is added here and it's a name. Uh, it's a button with the word name written on it and a description. So this is basically how you add uh, a custom widget. So sometimes you, you might reuse the same widget more than once, you know, uh, maybe you can add it twice or three times. Uh, basically, that's the beauty of a custom widget. You can use it over and over again. So instead of you writing the same thing again and again. Right, so you can just make one custom widget and then um, just use it uh, for your various buttons. Yes, but there are cases where you experience some issues with the custom widgets, such as, as you can see, um, when I reuse the same widget, it only gives me the same like uh, text for the button and the same label. What if maybe you want to change that? Maybe whenever you add the custom widget, you want to also change the text of the button. Or maybe the label how do you do that um, so if you try let's say you try maybe you know try to change the text maybe uh, of the custom widget let's try that let's say hello let's see what happens if you do that okay as you can see nothing happened um, okay what if maybe we say a label maybe we add a label we specify that okay uh, we want to put there a label okay and then within this label then we have the text let's try and see what happens here as you can see it just creates some weird thing basically yeah so how can we be able to use the same custom widget but maybe be able to change you know, use different uh, labels or different texts for the buttons. So this is what this tutorial is going to be about.
Uh, so what we do is, in order for us to do that, what we will be using is we use a property. Okay, we use a property. Let me just remove um, the, the other custom widget so we can only have one. So how do we use a property? So in this case, we will use a string property. You have to, of course, import the property. So from Kiwi properties import string property okay so now we've imported the, the the property okay so we want we want a property basically uh for the text here and then also for the label here so let's just go on and call it um let's call it my but uh, my button text my button text so that can be string property okay all right so we have one of them okay let's maybe also have a property for the label so my label text property okay and of course you have to put your Okay, all right, so now we have defined our string property. Okay, so we have my button text, which is going to be saved into the string property. And then we have my label text, which is going to be saved also in the string property. So now, instead of adding the name, uh, like the text in the custom widget itself, we can just um, link it to the string property. So of course, the property is in the root. So what do we say? We say root, right? And then we can say my uh, btl text. Okay. So that's for the button. Okay. And then for the label. Okay. My label text. Okay, all right. Okay, so now we have linked our string property to our button text in our label text. Okay, of course, if we run it now, uh, there's going to be uh, nothing really. Uh, the reason being is because we haven't um, really like defined any string, particular string yet um, to our string property. Okay, so as you can see, there's nothing there. There's nothing. So there's two ways to define your your initial um, uh, string property. So maybe if let's say if you want to uh, to maybe you know put the button text, you could put it within the string property here. Uh, like maybe you can say uh, my button like that. Okay. Then you can also say um, you can say my Sorry about that. Say my label like that. Okay. So this means the the this means that when you run the code, then the string the string that you wrote within these brackets here, that is the string that will be given to uh, to this um, variable that we've just de defined here. Okay. Let me just run it. I think it will make sense when you actually see it. Okay, as you can see now, right, what do you see? The button is my button and my label is my label. Okay, right. So now, of course, um, if you add the custom widget many times, it's still going to um, give you the same sort of, um, the same sort of texts and label. Nothing will change. It will be the same text and label. But what if you want to change the text and label of your other custom widget that you add. How you do that, actually you do it very simple. It's very simple to do. What you need to do is, uh, you need to basically put the name um, of your string uh, property, the one that you defined, okay? So in our case, we have my button text, right? Uh, and then we can also put your, my label, text you have to use what you defined of course right so now if i want to change 
the button text when I add a new widget. Okay, so this is the first custom widget I added. So when I add a new one, so now I can change the text basically of the button and of the label. Let's see how this works. So we can maybe say the next one is uh, not my button. Okay, and then the one can be maybe um, we can just call it zero. Okay, so when we go on and run this, what you will see now is that, as you can see, what do you see? Now you can clearly see that there's what? They all have different text, text and they have different, uh, they also have sort of like these um, different labels. Right. And you can do this for as many labels as you want. So this is the beauty of using um, of using a string property. Yes. So the string property allows us to be able to use this custom widget within this different class. And keep in mind that you can do this with practically anything within your custom widget. Even the colors, if you want to. Uh, you can also use other properties like your numeric property and all of that. Um, yes, anyway, this is what I'm covering in this tutorial. If you do have any questions or anything you'd like to ask or know, please do let me know in the comment section. And please do subscribe so that you can not miss out for the next video. And from me, Coach Slice, that's it. Bye.